Well, it's that time. We have the WWE 2K20 Feedback Project for everybody. What's up, everybody? I'm Tony Pizza Guy here. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this feedback project that they put out from 2K. This is official from the official WWE 2K forums. It is 2020. Why are we still using forums? I don't know. But that's the way they're doing things, so we're going to go ahead and go with this and kind of just answer it live. Unscripted. Recorded here. Put my feelings and thoughts out here and tell what I think should be. And I will actually type my responses in here. And I will post it on the WWE 2K forums and we will see what they say and uh, hopefully maybe we can influence this series if not that's fine we're at least trying we're at least trying to do such thing so we have a couple things here as you notice through this thing we see we have the top three requests which is something that I can fill out as well we have the creation feedback road to glory feedback universe mode feedback community creations feedback miscellaneous feedback gameplay feedback 2k showcase roster match type my career new features 2k towers and DLC as well as online so there's a lot here that I could actually go through to fill out and pick like yo this is what I want for the game uh, I figure we'll go full screen here. We'll kind of type some stuff up and we'll tell exactly what we think because I actually have some cool things here that I would love to get in this game, but we will see if we can influence this game. Let me know what you guys put also in the comment section below if you put any feedback. Uh, let me know. I'm curious to know. Let's go ahead and go over to it. So here we are, the feedback project. We have the list of all the things that we can do here. Now, there's a lot of things that I could do and go through here. I think mostly what I will do is show you the big ones that I think are like main easy fi fixes right away. Like things that I'm just like, okay, this is pretty good. This is pretty easy. Uh, my career. Let's go ahead and update that one. And we're going to just do a reply to thread for my career. And we're just going to kind of type our thoughts here and tell you what we think. Honestly, I feel like that's a good way to start this. Honestly, WWE, my, excuse me, my phone thought I said Siri. Honestly, WWE, my career seems like a no brain, brainer, brainer. Is no brain, no brain, brainier, excuse me, huh? Okay, no brainer. The problem with the my career for WWE 2K20 was that none of the main characters were likable. Likable. I thought that. Trey was annoying and Red didn't connect with me. If you choose to do a scripted my career mode again, like the last two years, I would make sure that the characters are very very likable I do not alright I do not want to play as my created person and find out that the personality stinks another issue I I can't even type another issue that I had with my career I'll do all the spelling errors at the end that's how this works that's why we have spell check 
another issue that I had with my career was that customizing my character didn't really change anything. There are so many strict cutscenes where you have to wear other people's attires that me creating a custom attire seems pointless also since you are locked into your story into the story that two to K created there is not much variation you can do if you do choose to have a linear have a pre set out story make sure to include branching paths if I lose a big match don't make me redo it make me take a different career path you should be able to play it out You should be able to play it out no matter win, lose, or draw. Of course, there will be certain times when you are locked into a win situation. But for the most part, you can advance no matter what the out of the the sandbox mode where you play matches and get your character leveled up makes for a better experience but make it mean something as of right now all I really as of right now all I really set up are my finishers and signatures and a bit of what they look like cool there it is I could go on forever but we will leave it here hopefully that's good so honestly my career seems like a no-brainer honestly my career seems like a no-brainer the problem with my career was that none of the main characters were likable I thought the tray was annoying and red didn't connect with me if you choose to do a scripted my career mode again like the last years i would make sure that the characters are very very likable i do not want to play as my created person to find out that but personality stinks another issue is that i another issue that i had with my career was that customizing my character didn't really change anything there are so many strict scenes where you had to wear other people's attires that me creating custom attire seems pointless also since you are locked into a 2k story into a story that 2k created there's not much variation in what you can do if you do choose to have a preset a preset out story make sure they include branching paths if i lose a big match don't make me redo it make me have a different career path you should be able to play it out no matter when lose or draw of course there will be certain times when you're locked when you're locked into a win situation but for the most part you can advance no matter what the sandbox mode where you play matches and get your character level up makes for a better experience but make it mean something as of right now i really all i really set up are my finishers and signatures and a bit of what they look like 
Try going forever, but I will leave it here. There you go. There's that one. Done. There it is. Reply. Did my reply send? I'm assuming that it did. I'm assuming it went. We could be wrong, though. Oh, uh, did it not go? Oh, okay. Quick reply. Let's actually click the button. Post quick reply. There it is. Okay. Post quick reply. Boom! There it is. Post it on there. All right. Let's go back to the forum. Let's do the, the feedback thing here. Feedback project. And we have another one. Gameplay creation, 2K showcase, roster, match types, my career, new features, 2K Tower, DLC, and online. Online. Here's where I would go with online. I actually have a lot to say about online. Online in 2020 should be a main... I'm not even reading what other people are saying. Focus of the WWE Games series. WWE needs to get uh, WWE 2K needs to get the get dedicated servers and allow and make sure the connection is key. If you don't have a good connection, online doesn't really matter i will include this in the creation thing but i will say uh a a big thing that would make online awesome would be cross platform play i would also like to see cross platform community creations I could give you modes and things to do online but please just make the connection very good with dedicated servers that's it I'm just gonna leave it at that because I could go on again forever but I really do think if they can make the connection good and get it like dedicated servers and make sure that we can like play online, that's most important. And then, you know, it would be cross-platform play as well as cross-platform community creations. Uh, that way you can have all creators together there it is all right let's go ahead and post a quick reply cool 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 everyone's like online gm mode turn reversal limit off all this stuff it's like just make a good connection it's really what i want uh and then we'll go on to the 2k showcase this one is pretty easy for me um 2k showcase is great for casual wb fans 2k showcase was at its best when it focused on an era of wrestling some great 2k showcase eras would be 80s early 90s WCW or ECW Invasion Ruthless Aggression and more that's good they can understand that they get it that's good that's good that's good also with 2k showcase make the objectives better I don't want to have to pause the game and look at what uh, uh, look at how to do an objective. I don't care to 
to do arm drag number seven. As an objective, make them make sense. The best part of this, the best part of 2K Showcase is the video packages produced by WB. Those make the modes stand out and Convey the story for the player. Also, when you lose a match and go to replay it, make it so you can return to the last objective you have completed or start completed that's it that's it that's it that's it that's it so basically uh focus on an era of wrestling not just pick like matches uh so the 80s era early 90s wcw or ecw invasion ruthless aggression and more would be cool uh make objectives better i don't want to pause the game i have to look up arm drag number seven make them make sense also video packages were really cool those would make the mode stand out and when i lose i don't want to have to go back to the very beginning all over again i hate that that one's pretty easy i feel like that one pretty good um let's go back here and see what other feedback we can throw down here showcase universe okay so universe i kind of already replied here um did i already do one let's see if i find it i don't want to do a friend request uh, my profile Where's my posts? I already did like a universe one. Oh, I did a towers one. So here's my towers thing I wrote. Uh, where did my towers go? Okay. So my tower was you need to, uh, you need rewards at the end of each tower. Make it so that you get a character, attire, or arena based off of each tower. Create a tower and upload to communications would be awesome. Play Mortal Kombat and see how those towers work. For some reason, I think they don't work in the current state that they are. So there it is. That's what I said for the towers. Um, I'm also going to go to the feedback project. We're going to do all of these. Gameplay is definitely something that I will save for not this video probably. Because there's a lot that I could put in here. Uh, I did showcase. I did that uh, roster. I'm just going to make this quick and simple here. Make this quick and simple for roster. Having the most up-to-date roster is cool but if they don't feel like the wrestlers then what is the point if you focus on making the superstars play like they would then it would be much better. You should try to mold each character as close to as possible. Uh you should include mostly every move they do captured by i don't know if this even are captured by said superstar include include some big attires that they used and different match entrances i feel if you pick maybe 50 superstars and tried to make them perfect to play as the community will love it 
community creations will create the other the missing superstars there it is all right post a quick reply there it is ah yes 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 okay they just listed people that's not what i like all right there we did that we haven't done universe mode yet uh my career we did that one match types i will do this match types i'm just gonna go here and say something um reply to thread matches are very important for WWE games include a ton of fan favorites that may be that may not not even take place in WWE anymore buried alive casket inferno special guest ref for the other matches also make sure to include all the matches that are used on current WWE TV such as war games last let us tinker with all the settings to create new match types customization is key there it is we're good here Now, again, I'm not sure how they're going to receive this feedback, but we're definitely going to include this in our video. Uh, do, 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 do. All right. Post a quick reply. There it is. All right. Back to the feedback project here. All right. Another one. DLC. DLC did not hit this year it was very poorly received i think the idea uh, of received actually i'm just gonna do this make season themed content Think of the Fortnite Battle Pass or the Call of Duty Battle Pass. You can include wacky stuff if you like, but also include superstars, arenas, attires, moves, and more that people want more of current slash past real superstars. There it is. It's basically DLC. You could just copy the Fortnite Battle Pass. And just drop those for 10 bucks. Why not? And then you can include some wacky stuff, include superstars, arenas, attires, moves, all that stuff. I think that's pretty easy. I think that's pretty good. I think that's a pretty good model. All right. Feedback project. Universe mode we have. New features. Uh, creation. Road to glory. So creation is not my thing, but I will go ahead and just type on here. Um... I would like cross platform community creations so we can download things people make from every platform. 
platform. There it is. Boom. Done. That's it. That's all I needed. 90 seconds. 90 seconds. 35 seconds. Okay. We'll wait here. Do, 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 do. I don't really know anything else from creation stuff because I'm not a huge creation guy. I just want the creations to be shown off. That's pretty much it. 19 seconds. 19 seconds. Let's go back here to the feedback thing. We'll hit submit here in a second. Uh, 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 oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's pretty good. People have a full list of things they want. Dang. I don't know how they're going to go through all this. One second. There you go. Posted. All right. Uh, feedback project. I hope they have one person working on one thing. All right. Gameplay is something I need to take my time with. So I'm not going to answer that one in this. Uh, creation I did. Downloadable contents. We did that one. Match types we did. I think we did match types. Did we not? Yeah, we did. Yeah, I definitely did that. Um, online... We definitely did dedicated service miscellaneous my career new features road to glory did i do road to glory i did not i th feel like i already did a road to glory but maybe i just didn't i was about to type a road to glory thing uh, uh, uh i don't i don't have much to say about road to glory i'm not even a big fan of the mode so i'm just not gonna even type anything um communications towers i did my tower thing uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. I guess we'll go top three requests. So top three requests. Here we go. Number one. Match types. Include as many current and past match types you can. Two. Online should be a huge focus dedicated servers cross play etc there you go and last but not least the ability to non-restrictive gameplay non-restrictive gameplay let uh, let us do what we want with the game ladders not being designated to a certain spot stack as many tables as you want call Climb the Tron. Go anywhere. Wrestle anywhere. Just make the core experience fun. That will drive the game in the right direction. I'm going to do features, features, features and match types. People love game modes include as many as you can. There you go. All right. So you just want a lot of match types and a lot of game modes as you can. Online should be huge focus, dedicated servers and cross play, et cetera. Um, non restrictive gameplay, let us do what we want in the game. Ladder not being designated to certain spots. Stack as many tables as you want. Climb the Tron, wrestle anywhere. Just make the core fun, core experience fun. And that will drive the game in the right direction. Cool. Quick reply. So there you go. My reply is up there. Um, the other thing that I think I need to do here is the gameplay stuff. 
um, which I think I kind of hit in that top three features thing. Honestly, I'll just kind of say it here. I'm going to type a big detailed thing off and send it off later. But honestly, I think what needs to happen is you just need to make the core gameplay experience fun, like non-restrictive, set up tables wherever, crash through tables, all that fun stuff. Just like, remember, here comes the pain. You could just stack a bunch of tables. You could stack a ladder on a table and do like a bunch of wacky stuff, climb the SmackDown fist, all that stuff. That's definitely what needs to happen because when you do that and you make the game less restrictive, you let the people just have fun, like a sandbox type thing, get into it, play it, and have a good time. Uh, universe mode, I definitely do need to type another detailed thing here. Uh, I have a lot of things that I think should go into here, but I think if you can include like some sort of currency, money, uh, general manager type things to go into the universe mode, I think that would be best for the series. Just like include like a bunch of things that would make this game mode fun. Like take stuff from GM mode, implement it in here. The way that you manage your roster, the way that you sell merchandise, the way that you do stuff like that to get fans to come to the show and you compete with other shows and have a draft and a brand thing like that. I think that's really, really, really where the, where the mode's gonna shine. I think the best thing about universe mode would be that you have to turn things on and off. So if you want money off, turn it off. If you wanna have a draft, turn it on. If you don't want a draft, turn it off. If you want to manage the superstars, do a merch, all that, do it. Or you can have it be just strictly like a universe mode. Because right now, it's just... Well, there you go. There was my 2K feedback stuff. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you guys enjoy this type of video, let me know. I'm just curious to know what you guys wrote down. Uh, there's a lot I could go into. Honestly, gameplay. And when I get into the universe mode stuff, that's going to be my most thing here. Um, there's a lot of different directions you could take here with the series as the current state is. That's where I come into like a bind here. Where I'm like, well, I like this thing, but I also want this thing. And is this the right way to go? Is this not the right thing to go? That's why I think this is like the hardest thing for them to actually do right now is to kind of put this together because there's a lot that goes into a WWE game. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Where do you want to see the series go? And let me know what you said in the feedback forum. As always, I'm Tony Beats Guy. We will see you.